The rest are scattered or arrested. Over a hundred are confined with him at the tower. We must make preparations for his trial, Your Grace, and speedily, before his supporters can regroup. I hold my arms thus. I am ready. Goodbye. Let me pass. Do not mourn, my dear, for I welcome it. I see now only God can give me the peace I have been denied on earth. God save the Queen. God save us all. He is gone, Your Grace. Since the execution of the Earl of Essex, the Queen's spirit is quite broken. She is ever more melancholy, ever more forgetful, her temper more capricious. She leaves her quarters now only for duty, the recitals and plays she once relished, her horse riding. None can tempt her out. She is beset by fears of assassination, stalking the palace at night, striking at unseen enemies. Then for a brief moment, her old spirit was restored to us. She was Gloriana once more. To be a king and wear a crown is a thing more glorious to them who see it than pleasant to them who bear it. For myself, I was never so much enticed by it as humbled that God chose me as his instrument to defend my kingdom from peril dishonor, tyranny, and oppression. There will never be a queen with more zeal and devotion for her country and her subjects. 
But it is my desire now to reign no longer than for your good. Then the flame was extinguished. She began to slip away from us. Too weak to walk, she has spent the past 15 hours standing in her chamber, refusing to sit, lest she should never rise again. After over 40 years as sovereign, she quietly departed this life. As for the succession, she neither denied nor confirmed you. But you can be assured of my fidelity in that respect. Your Majesty. For King James's hand alone, no other. Wait outside. A clasp has been added. He has hidden a portrait inside. Robert Dudley. It is the whore Anne Boleyn. Her mother. <laughs> 